Welcome to the Captain's Log. In this video, I'm going to explain some of the most common EV charging jargon and take you through some of the basics, hopefully helping you to get to grips with using and owning your first electric vehicle. If you have any comments or questions, then feel free to ask in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Before we dive into charging, let's quickly discuss why electric cars matter. They're eco-friendly, reduce emissions, and are becoming increasingly affordable. The world is moving toward a sustainable future and electric cars play a big role. They come in various shapes and sizes, from compact hatchbacks to large SUVs. They all have one thing in common. They run on electricity. No more trips to the fuel station. Charging an electric car is a lot like charging your smartphone, but on a larger scale. EVs have a port where you connect a charging cable to recharge the battery. The charging cable connects your car to a power source, and the car's built-in charger converts the electricity from the grid into a usable form for the battery. There are two main types of car charging. The level two charger that just plugs into a domestic home socket, also known as the granny charger and more about that later. Also, there is the level two home charging wall box, which can charge much faster than a domestic socket. Level two chargers can also be found at hotels, car parks, or shopping centers. They are also known as destination chargers. Level 3 is fast DC charging like the Tesla supercharging network. This is my local Ionity charging facility, and as you can see, it's not being used. And you can see, it's not very busy. The only car here, 12 stalls. Oh, 350 kilowatt hours. In America, there is also a level one charging standard which runs off the 110 volt outlet. But you have to be sure the wiring loom is up to the job or this can be very dangerous. So this is the domestic plug-in charger known as the granny charger. This one came with the standard European plug and can be used with most household sockets. It's 240 volt and is unfused. The other end of the cable just plugs into the car. Depending on how many amps your socket is rated at dictates how quickly you can charge your car, although the onboard charger of the MG4 is seven kilowatts. The other type of cable that is usually supplied with most electric cars is the Type 2. European cars used to use the Type 1 connector. Then major European automakers began looking for a new solution that could take advantage of three phase. In 2003, new specification was established based on which the Type 2 Menekes plug was produced and quickly became the new European standard. Another important advantage of the Type 2 plug is that it supports a built-in automatic locking system. And now to Type 3 or supercharging. Most people think this is where electric cars spend most of their lives. But I've only actually used public chargers for about 10% of my total mileage of 7,000 miles. Normally, I charge at home overnight for the five hours of cheap power with octopus energy. But for long road trips then, these roadside powerhouses are essential.
Well, there you go. Almost six minutes of Robo Me explaining the basics of EV charging. Hopefully entertaining you a little bit and explaining just a few things of, of how you live with your electric vehicle. As I tried to explain, most of the charging I do is at home. I actually use a granny charger. And as I only do around 100 miles uh, a week, the five hours of uh, just charging from a normal socket is all I need. Uh, I am waiting to get um, some solar power fitted and I'll get a power pack and then I'll have a proper seven watt charger at home. But for those of you who've just got your EV, just operating with a normal socket, as long as the wiring is good, is um, perfectly fine. There's no need to rush into getting that seven kilowatt charger fitted at home. But it's obviously uh, gives you more option. You get at least twice uh, the amount of range you can put into your car overnight. But until I get the full solar installation, I'm quite happy just to operate using my normal granny charger. Uh, I haven't felt the need to rush out. And as I said in the video, I only ever use uh, supercharging, uh, level two hotel charging or something if I'm on the road. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully it's uh, given you some entertainment. If you haven't already, please consider giving me a subscribe. I have quite a few more videos in the pipeline coming soon. Until then, thanks very much. Goodbye.